it's Ashley and yes I'm recording on my camera so hopefully this will work so um, I'm bringing the book haul that I promised you guys ages ago so yeah let's get with it so I did this in different sections the first section I'm gonna um, be talking about is uh, from books a million then I have one that's just miscellaneous that I either got from different bookstores online all that stuff and then um, one uh, from Ollie's um, Barking one there's a decent section on that so yeah let's just get with it so this book right here is actually one of my recent most recent purchase and that is save the date by uh morgan matson um i got a signed edition so i'm pretty excited about that um i read a lot of her books and <laughs> there's two that i didn't like so much so i'm hoping that this will be one of the ones i do like so yeah i'm looking forward to reading it and i hope i like it um the next one is The Wicked Deep by Sherrod Earnshaw. I'm excited to read this. Heard uh, some mixed things about it though, so I'm really nervous about it. Um, I have Dorothy Must Die Stories Volume 2 by Daniel Page. Pretty excited about this. I need to get the last book to the series, and I need to reread the first two before I can jump into the third book, but yes. Really do love the series. I know that a lot of people are kind of done with it and didn't like the second two book too much, but. I enjoyed the series nonetheless. The next book is Winnegades by Marissa Meyer. Everybody seems to love this book and I still haven't jumped into it. I think I'm hesitant because um, I read a um, majority of the Luna Chronicle series by her and I wasn't the biggest fan of it even though I haven't read Winter yet but so I'm nervous about it but I hear a lot of people actually enjoy this more than uh, the Lona Chronicles series, so yes, I'm excited to jump into it nonetheless. Um, another Marissa Meyer book that I have here is Heartless. This is an Alice in, um, Alice in Wonderland retelling, so I am excited about that because I do love me some retellings, so yes. And then here I have another uh, Daniel, Daniel Page book, and that is uh, Yellow Brick War obviously by Danielle Page, like I just said, but I'm super excited to jump back in. I just love her covers to her books, and I definitely need to read the first two books, though, before I can jump into this, but yes. And then I have a lot of thrillers here. I'm just, like, trying to stock up my thrillers. I have Bring Me Back by B.A. Paris, and majority of these are thrillers um, I don't know much about, so sorry about that. Um, then She Was Gone by Lisa Drool. I'm going to put these back as I'm going as well. I have um, Where They Found Her by Kimberly McCrete. Beyond Her Eyes by Sarah Pinball. Pretty excited about all these thrillers because they all look really good. Um, I have uh, The White Between Us by Greer Hendrick and Sarah Pekin. Um, the Favorite Sister by Jessica Knoll. I have heard really mixed things about it. People either really like it or really don't, so I'm nervous about it. Um, then I have here Middle Grade, and it's The Land of Stories, Worlds Collide by Chris Colfer. This is book six. Haven't read three, four, or five yet, and I don't own book five yet, but I'm excited to get on with the series. Here I have a Miss Smith's uh, spy Miss Miss Spy sc School for Girls by Beth McCullen. I am excited to read the uh, read this because it just looks so cute and everything. So, and I do love me some superhero stuff. A book that I already read, and that is Beautiful Bro Broken Beautiful Hearts by Cami Garcia. Love this book more than I thought I was going to. Um, it's about abuse, so if you're looking for like a story about that, definitely recommend this. I think she did it really well. Uh, the Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Warcross by Marie Lou. I actually never read a Marie Lou book, but um, I'm excited, excited to start. Start, And I found this used at Books Million for only $5, so it's like mine as well. Um, the Start of Me and You, as well as The Names They Gave Us, both by Emery Lord. Um, I heard here that her category books are very heart wrenching so I'm kind of nervous about that. Then I have Top 10 by Katie Katono. I read two of her books so far. One of them I wasn't the biggest fan of but the other one I quite enjoyed. I have, I have The Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia. Um, 
with how much I loved Broken and Beautiful Hearts, I'm really hoping that I enjoyed this book as much as that one. And I have City of Saints and Thieves by Natalie C. Anderson. In Search of Us by Ava Delera. And that, that was it for Books Million. So, um, let's get back into Ollie's Bargain Outlet. I have Words and Deep Blue uh, by Kath Crowley. Absolutely love this cover. I think it's gorgeous. And I love the blues on it. There. I have Big Little Lies by Leah Morani. I really want to watch the TV sh show, but I haven't. I want to read the book first. But I hear everybody seems to love it, and I'm really nervous for it. But so hopefully I like it. Um, a Starfish by Kima Don Bowman. I have more thrillers. Is anybody surprised? I have Right Behind You by Lisa Gardner. When All the Girls Have Gone by Jane Ann Krentz. Pretty excited about all these, really, because they all just look so good. Um, I have The Death of Miss Westaway by Ruth Aware. Um, didn't realize that there's like a little tiny split on the edge, but it's fine. I only had paid $4 for this, so it's not too bad. When to Fall by Jennifer E. Smith. This one just looks really cheesy, but I actually kind of like the cover, but it's Trusting You and Other Lies by Nicole Williams. Hanging Mary by Susan Hicken Hickenbaugh. This one is kind of like a um, historic fiction uh, about Mar uh, Mary Stewart, who uh, apparently was the first woman who to get hanged. Uh, apparently, I uh, guess a conspiracy about Lincoln's assassination, and I just... I really am excited to read this book. I just really, I don't know, I love it. And I only got it for $1.99, so I'm pretty excited about that. I have From This Moment by Elizabeth Camden, who is one of my favorite Christian historical romance authors. The Whole Thing Together by Anne Brashers, who wrote The Sister of the Traveling Pants, which I really love that series. Ten Things I Can See From Here by Carrie Mack. Juniper Juniper Lemons Happiness Index by Julia Israel. Love this cover. I think it's so gorgeous. Jane Unlimited by Kristen Cashore. When I saw this for only $1.99 at Ollie's, I had to grab it. I think it just, the concept just sounds so interesting. I really wonder, wonder what the real ending is going to be. So I'm excited about this. Um, I have Everything Everything by Nicole Young. Yes, I have not read this yet. Shame on me, but I'm really excited for it. And no, I have not seen the movie. But I really want to. I have Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz. I have The Hanging Girl by Lean Cook. This just sounds very interesting. Like another kind of like YA mystery. I have Wild Bird by Wendelin Van Draylen. Definitely really enjoyed this. I have read it, obviously, but if you're interested in a book kind of that deals with uh, drug addiction, uh, especially with the character for being so young, I definitely recommend this. And then, last two books I got from Ollie's is Everyone We've Been by Sarah Everett. That just sounds very uh, emotional, contemporary book, so I'm uh, all for that, so hopefully I like it. Um, a lot of contemporary books that I've read, I don't really enjoy that much, so hopefully I like it. And then Once and for All by Sarah Dessen, which honestly I'm probably going to be the last, one of the temper the lower end of the scale on Sarah Dessen, because I don't really like, enjoy her books, only like Someone Like You, which was like one of her first novels. And I keep reading her books and hope that I'll like her books just as much as I had enjoyed that book, and I just don't. I'm sad, but I'm continuing. I'm going to read them until I get to a book that I really enjoyed by her. Um, so I'm going to scoot over a little bit with the camera because, yes. Okay. So the next section is books that uh, people have given me. Um, the first three are from my coworker. Um, the Myrtle Life of Henrietta Locks. Um, or Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Sploot. This one just sounds very interesting. Um, can't wait to read it. Really appreciate that she gave me that one. And then she gave me Flight Patterns by Karen White. 
which is I think it's just a adult chick lit book and then also The Mountain Between Us by Charles Martin which I wasn't interested in but I read the synopsis and it actually does sound pretty interesting <laughs> and obviously it's the movie cover edition and then the next four are from my friend Savannah um, Sisters of Heart and Snow by Margaret Dillaway which is an adult novel I believe and I her mom actually thought of me and gave that to her to give to me. Then I have Mirage by Sumia Dodd. Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nig, which I'm super excited about. I love this cover. Super, super stoked for it. And then also um, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, which she read and said she absolutely hated. So, well, not really hated. I think that's a strong term, but she didn't enjoy it, I should say. So I'm really see, uh, kind of curious about how I would like it. Um, the next section I got from like a random bookstore, um, The Furthest Shore, To the Furthest Shore is by Elizabeth Camden, who I mentioned before that she's my favorite Christian and historic romance authors, at least one of them. So I'm excited to jump into this. Um, book number 10 to a, a series of fortunate events by Libby Sickett. This one's A Slippery Slope. This is the only one that I didn't own from the series. Now I can read the series without, um, being annoyed of whether or not the next book I didn't have, so, yes. And then I have, um, Fall Down and Double Down, which is kind of like a retelling of, uh, Lois Lane from Small, uh, from, from the Superman series. I was going to say Small Lois, I mean, which she was, but, yes, I'm really excited to read this because Lois Lane was actually one of my favorite characters in the show Smallville, so, yes, I'm excited to read these. But, and then I got Please Don't Tell by Laura Timms, which is kind of like a, I think it's kind of like a YA slash, a YA thriller slash contemporary, so I'm really excited to read this. Sounds very emotional, so I'm, I'm all about that emotional stuff. So the next, I actually got from Goodwill. I have 2x2 two by, two by Nicholas Sparks. I always will love Nicholas Sparks. Speaking of which, I have three weeks with my brother, and which I just read, it's, so that's why it's beat up, and I absolutely love this book, way more than I thought I was going to, definitely recommend it, this is the reason why, um, which is my, reminding me how much I loved his writing. I found a mask mark paperback of Game of Thrones by Gerard R. Martin. Uh, I have The Killing Club by Marcy Walsh with Michael Malone. Um, I remember when this book was kind of involved with the uh, One Life to Live soap opera, and there she is right there, the actress that played Marcy. Uh, this book was so good though, I remember reading it, checking from the library, and when I found out Goodwill, I just had to grab it, and definitely want to reread it soon, because uh, I just remember loving it, so. And then I found, uh, like, a series, if I can get it, um, I found, um, the... The Descendant Novel Books by Melissa Dale Cruz at Goodwill. I found the first of uh, the first three books. So I don't know if there's going to be any more in hardcover. So The Isle of the Lost, uh, Return to the Isle of the Lost, and uh, Rise of the Isle of the Lost. And I watched the first movie and half of the second. And they're just super cheesy. Definitely would have enjoyed it more if I was younger. But I do love the retelling aspect. And then I also found Mal's Diary. Um, which I do love me some diary format, so I'm kind of, kind of excited. Like, even though I'm th almost 30, I mean, I'm kind of excited to be reading this. The last book I found at Goodwill was The Darkest Minds by Alexander Brackett. And no, I have not read the series, but I guess I'll be starting. I'm hoping at least read this one and hopefully I'll like it. And I'm on to last books here. Let me reach over and grab some. Um, these ones are a mixture from where I work. I work at a warehouse, so it, we have some books we sell. Um, I got um, The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn, which I'm currently reading. I'm not much into it. I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought, but I'm only on page like 50 of it, so I need to read more of it. And But I am excited. They're making a movie out of it, and I think it's coming out in like maybe the end of 2019, so I'm pretty excited for that. And then I have The Perfect Girlfriend by Karen Hamilton. This just looks like a really fast thriller. Um, 
Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen McGinnis. I already read this book and I loved it. It was a YA thriller. Definitely gonna pick up more of her books when she releases more. Oh, this book is so, so good. Four and a half stars. Definitely recommend it. And then this book I got from Walmart. Um, that's Dublin by Julie Murphy. Um, saw the movie. Loved the movie so much. And I can't wait to read the book. Found this one at the Dollar Tree. And that is Snitch, uh, Stitching Snow by R.C. Lewis. It's a Snow White retelling. Found one. Okay. Um, and then the last three books I got from online. Um, Mirrored by Alex Flynn, which is a Snow White retelling as well. I read Beastly by her, didn't like it. Tried to retell it by her, couldn't get into it, had to DNF it. Then I read, uh, uh, gosh, I keep on forgetting what that book is called. Um, Be What You Name, which was a still Cinderella retelling, and I freaking loved that book. So, hope you didn't enjoy this one as much as I did that one. And then I have here Rescued by J.B. Jiggins and Tim LaHaye. Which holds titles 13 to 16 to the U, uh, the U, U non trip four series, and decided to read the, this. I'm on book two though, so needed to been uh, get it though. And then the last book I have here is Noteworthy by Riley Redgate, which April from um, April Maximus had recommended this uh, in more than one of the videos about, and she described it as a um, pitch perfect meets uh, she's the man. And I'm all about it. So I'm hoping to like it. I'm really hoping to like it. So, yeah. Because <laughs> that kind of won me about whether or not to get it. Because I hardly ever order books online. So, anyway. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that it was all chaotic and stuff. But until next time, I'll see, see you then.